Hello and welcome to the very first session of Learn How to Teach. Now, if you're going to be a good teacher, it does help if you have a sample student, perhaps a younger brother or a younger sister. But if you don't, don't worry, there's lots you can learn and there's a certificate for doing the course. OK, so we're going to start with science education, which is my area, and we're going to start with my favourite area of the science curriculum, and that's scientific inquiry, which is where we get to do the investigations. We're going to be focusing in particular on a skill in science, which I think isn't given enough attention in school. So therefore, whatever the age of your young student, this session is going to help them. And indeed, it might help you too. So we're going to be thinking about observing and observation. OK, let's um, let's start with a bit of a, um, a test for you. So I've got uh, three objects here and you can see that we drink a lot of different sorts of milk in my household. Um, what do you observe that's similar about them and what do you observe that's different about them? Well, hopefully that wasn't too taxing. So you probably said something about the colour. Right, now let's see if we can uh, incorporate this into an investigation. So um, I have another container here and this one doesn't have holes in, which is handy because the idea now is to fill it up with water. Just to about here. Now I've got my objects again and I can compare them. I can put each of the objects into water and I can have a look at whether or not they float or they sink. So a bit more predicting to happen. What do you predict you'll observe when we put these three objects into the water? Will they behave in the same way or will they behave in a different way? Will they all float in a similar way, sink in a similar way, or will they do something different? Well, once again, that probably wasn't too taxing for you, but it is a good way to practice observing and it does point to a good scientific question. So our scientific question is, what are the factors that affect whether or not something floats or sinks? And we've got here something that looks remarkably like a fair test, haven't we? We've got a fair test for colour and we can have a look at whether in the case of these objects, the colour seems to make a difference. Hmm, moving on, let's try changing something else. Now, this is an investigation in real life. And in real life, I may not be able to just change one thing all the time. I may have to change several things just to have enough objects to work with. All right, well, in this case, I've actually changed two things. I've changed the colour, but I now know that's not a factor. I've changed the colour, I've changed the shape. If I were to compare this object and this object in the water, what do you think we would observe? Would they behave the same or would they behave differently? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because this shape is a sort of a boat shape, isn't it? It's got a lot of air inside. Do you think that would make a difference to whether or not something floats or sinks? Having a sort of a boat shape with air inside? Once again, we can make a prediction. Then we can test out what happens and observe whether our prediction is right or wrong. This is an intriguing looking object because you might think it's plastic, but it's actually not plastic, this one. It's made of another material. Do you know what it's made of? Right, well, there we go. I've got uh, one more I'm going to compare. These two are similar colours, but once again, different materials and different shapes. And I'm very interested to know what happens when I put each of these into the water. What do you predict? You'll notice I'm using a lot of questions, and this is what a good teacher will do. Use questions to prompt your youngster and to guide them towards the kinds of things that you want to say. Also, don't forget to use that scientific terminology. So in this case, we're practicing observe and observations. See if you can get your youngster to even say the words. That's even better than you saying them. All right, so I'd like you to, um, to work out a floating and sinking investigation. Make sure everything that you work with is safe and uh, let me know what you do, because I'd really like to know.